Veronica. <clears throat> this wasn't a very good episode for you, was it, girl? <laughs> I'm like, come on through, cookie. I want to pull my soapbox. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. What, cookie? Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for Have It Have Not Season 6, Episode 16. <laughs> Miss Veronica, bitch! Girl, things just did not quite go your way, did they, girl? Child Veronica standing her ass up in there in that doorway, baby, and Jeffrey is giving the business to Justin, honey, and she's over there having fit. And they get to having this little exchange back and forth. And Jeffrey was, I said, whoa, Jeffrey. So this is what happened when your little stuff get hard, honey? You get to talk and shit. He told Monica, get your ass on out of here. I said, oh. And just like I was looking like that, Veronica was like, what? <laughs> you get your ass on out of here. How are you going to stand there? You're going to do this right in front of me? He said, I didn't even know you were standing there. But if you don't get your ass out of here, you're going to see me doing it because I'm going to go on and continue. I said, oh, child, Justin laying up your child. Jeffrey just sat back, rear back, had he, and Justin just going to lean back and lay all on Justin. I said, oh, stop this, honey. Child, they was carrying on. Honey, and they, I mean, just bold with it. And Justin was getting his life, honey. And uh, Veronica was like, See, this little girl right here, she's got you, and she's making you bold, Jeffrey. This, that, and the other. He's going to say, ain't nobody got me doing nothing. I done told you. I'm done with you. I'm done with your bullshit. You take and get your ass on out of here. I said, oh, my God. It was just too much. It was too much. And she stand up and tell me, I can fix this. I can fix it, Jeffrey. said, you can't fix a goddamn thing. Get your ass on out. And close that goddamn door behind you. I'm busy. I said, oh. She's steady going on. Steady going on. He told her, he said, you know, I done stabbed you before. Do you want me to stab you again? I said, oh, shit. How do you ask a motherfucker and with a straight face, do you want me to stab you again, honey? I said, look, so she going to say, I can fix it. I can fix it, Jeffrey. She took her ass and got her ass on out of her and about stabbing her again. <laughs> I said, oh, poor Veronica. Child, her eyeballs was burning, honey. I said, oh, poor thing. See, bitch. <laughs> she went on about her business. Then the next thing you know, Jeffrey got to go deal with this fucking crazy ass Justin. He going to say, all right. You know, once she was gone, he was like, come on, put it on back at me, honey. I said, child, what's wrong with her? He going to say, she makes you crazy, Jeffrey. This, that, and the other. And he's like, I made a mistake. I don't want to do this. You know, you caught me at a weak moment. I tore your ass up real fast. And she's he like, yeah, well, come on and finish tearing me up, honey. I said, a mess. But um, they go back and forth. And he's telling me, what, what, who do you think you are to me, Justin? And he's like, you know, you say it. You tell me. He just, because, you know, Justin just refuses to admit out of his mouth that he's gay. He refuses to admit out of his mouth that he's in love, which, well, no, he doesn't, not that he's in love, but what he thinks he is to, to, to Jeffrey. He don't want to say, you know, I'm your boyfriend or I'm your man or any of that. So he don't want to say it. So he wants just Jeffrey to say it. Jeffrey, like, I ain't saying none of that. And as a matter of fact, I want you to get the fuck on up and follow that bitch and get on out of here. I'm done with this. And child, he basically let him know, bitch, I done gave up way too much. I done come way too far. I'm so into you, honey, that I ain't never leaving. And that's it. I'm with you to the dirt, motherfucker. So you might as well get ready. Then told him, now I'm getting ready to get up and go make some dinner. I said, oh, some dinner. I said, bitch, call your dad, honey. Call your dad. You you just keep on Justin. His dad got some shit for you, honey. You'll meet the dirt before you be stuck with Jeffrey. And you better believe that. I said, mm. Crazy as shit. They got on that honey, and switched itself on to get you to make some dinner, honey. I said, oh my. A mess. Then, our couples. Landon and Charles. Now I'm about sick of this shit. They going back and forth. Landon drinking his liquor and all in his feelings. Talking about, you know, 
his whole Candace thing. And he's like, I'm, he said, well, what's wrong with you? What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. He said, something's wrong with you. What's wrong with you? And Charles was like, I'm so sick of laying in this bed alone at night. That motherfucker landed and jumped out of that motherfucking skin and said, well, I can just jump on into the bed with you. I said, oh, Miss Land." <laughs> And, and Charles will say, enough of this joking. Bitch, ain't nobody joking, bitch. He ain't joking. He wasn't joking, and you know he ain't joking. He was ready to give it his you live whore. <laughs> he is not joking. Landon is ready for you to do to him what Jeffrey was doing to that goddamn Justin. He wants you to put it in the money. I said, mm -mm -mm. come on and give him some of that presidential pizza, Sadie. I said, that's a whole mess. So he goes on, he go, he deflects the bullshit, goes back and forth, keep telling him he wants Candace, and they go back and forth with the, and I'm getting tired of this shit. Do you, you know, why do you want her? She's this, and why do you, stop talking about his woman, honey. Stop it. Girl, you're coming across as a scorned bitch. Leave it alone. It is what it is, Landon, girl. It's not your time, girl. You're not going to get it. He's not going to bag you out. Not now, anyway. Not until Candace. You got to wait till Candace totally hurts him. Then he'll get around to you, I guess. Fucking mess. Couldn't be me, bitch, but okay. You know, well, you stupid girl like that anyway. You're chasing a motherfucker that don't want me. That's just crazy. Maybe we should introduce Landon and fucking Justin. They would probably hit it off. Well, no, because Landon not cute like with Justin. Like, Justin like real cute. Like Jeffrey and, and RK. Yeah. And y'all know what I was calling that motherfucker RJ. His name is RK. Whatever. RJ, RK. Fucking trick ass. That's him. But yeah, he, that's, yeah, Landon, you don't fit in. You kind of cute, but you ain't, you cute like this, not cute like that. <laughs> so anybody think about your ass. But anyway, keep that in mind. Um, On one of these trips, Tyler, introduce Justin to Landon and see what happens. Shit. All the motherfuckers running around here that want people that don't want them back. Anyway, so basically Charles told Landon, Keep that bitch on the straight and narrow. Anything that she get her hands into, straighten it out. Straighten it out. So, that's that. Okay, so speaking of, old goddamn Candace. Candace brings all the crew together. I said this bitch. She get the whole group together and basically let them know, I'm out. It's RK. Um, I can't think of the other little whore. Who's the other little whore? I can't think of her name, but her and, um, and R Rocky. They all up in there, and she basically let them know, I'm out of there, this, that, thing, and the other. Rocky goes and gives her very much of, okay, so you really must have had to come up. She said, oh, yeah, I had to come up, and I'm done with this bullshit. So they beg her not to go, and RK's like, oh, I'm just, I'm making money now. You notice that, and the other, how you just gonna walk out leave So they got pissed. The two whores got pissed. Rocky told Candace straight up, bitch, I want my cut. You owe me a cut. And he called himself, he was slickly kind of threatening her, like, Oh, so you gonna really do this like this? Like, yeah, bitch. And she gave him very much of, let me tell you something, honey. How's your green card, honey? I said, oh, okay. She backed him right the fuck up off of her, honey. I said, now she didn't let you know you can play with me and I won't have your ass to pour. Then had the nerve to say Trump Nation, baby. I said, oh, Candace, you're a dirty bitch. I said, she is terrible. She let him know if you fuck with me, honey, you will be on your way to Guatemala or some goddamn weird, honey. You better get your fucking ass out of here. I said, okay. Oh, <laughs> She's so fucking mean. I love it. Anyway, moving on. Oh, and speaking of RK, I was talking about the little, remember the little fag that he met down in the goddamn thing. He takes him up there and found out the man is a professor from a college and whatnot. And he gets the man in his home, yeah, let me show you this little thing I got going on. And the man, I said, look at this queen, honey. He don't tell him, uh, stand up for me, unbutton your shirt, turn on around. Here, now bend over. The man's like, oh, yeah, now this is what I'm talking about. I said, who are these people that have these lewd, empty sexual acts? I, I, I just don't get it. Like, See, I'm going to go into too much of my own personal shit, but I'm going to do it because I don't understand the whole thing. Come here, stand in front of me, get on your knees. What? Bitch, who? Bitch, where? Oh, come here, turn around, pull your shirt up, lean over. Bitch, where? Like, who lets people talk to them like that? Who lets people literally, 
I'm sorry, baby. You got to. I, I'm like Kathleen Turner. Kathleen Turner, honey. You got to romance the stone, honey. You're not going to just treat me in some old fucking lewd ass, goddamn stereotypical ass uh, sexual act. Bend over, sit down on your knees, all that old bullshit. And I'm like, these people just go. But up, bump, bump. Let's go. Let's just leave that alone because I'm going to go somewhere that we don't need to go here with the haves and the have-nots. Know that nobody is not having that go on with James. Ain't nobody doing that bullshit. He bend this old sissy up and grab his motherfucking wallet out of his pocket and say, oh, look at all these credit cards. And he was just mean. I said, okay. He was mean as shit to that guy. He let that motherfucker know I have no interest in you. What fucking so ever. At all. I am robbing you and blackmailing you. Bitch. I don't want you. Then as a nerve to tell you're going to get me $10,000. And you bring it on back downstairs or else you're going to be on the news, honey. And then told me, he's like, I'm just a poor little student. I'm a young guy and I didn't know. And he, I said, oh, no, you're not. Pulling this set. child. Let him have it. And was like, now go ahead. Then went to the door, and then the meanest thing ever was say, you really wanted this ass, didn't you? I said, oh, 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 oh. that is so fucking mean. I said, that is terrible. I said, RK, now you better quit. You know that shit gonna come back to get you. But that was funny. I was like, that's what you get, you nasty sissy. Now get your ass up out of there, bitch. Always trying to be nasty and trying to get some lewd shit going on. Did you just write? Fucking freakazoid. Anyway, I bet. Okay, Jim and Oscar. The money is not where it's supposed to be. Jim and Oscar was having this exchange, and Oscar was like, Jim, don't fucking play with me. I know you're not trying to pull no stunt on me and don't pay me, motherfucker. And Jim is like, don't you play with me, motherfucker. I'll have your ass done. So they're going back and forth. And in the midst of that, Oscar figures out what Candace had did. He didn't tell Jim. He just left that alone. So next we see him. He's going on off to get shit figured out. Um, that's the last we see the Oscar. We'll catch up with him later. Candace goes and sees Benny. Um, he told her to come to the house. That bitch is in a place. So she had to go. She go up in there. Runs into that damn Candace. Um, Candace runs into Hannah. Hannah's like, you might as well come on in here and tell him whatever it is you got to tell him in front of me because all he's going to do is tell me anyway. I say, Hannah, you're being a bitch. But you always are when you start getting some dick close to you and Derek been rubbing up against you and now you really feeling your puss. Go sit down, Hannah. She went on upstairs and Candace basically tells Benny she wants um, him to give her his bank account number so she could put some money. I need you to hold some money. She wouldn't tell him how much. This motherfucker had nerd to tell Candace. Candace, if you burn me, I'm telling you, I'm not for this bullshit. I got $85 in the bank. <laughs> Bitch, $85. I had $85 in the bank. And then the motherfucker said, we need that money. <laughs> $85. Bitch, what are you going to do with $85? If she's still it, bitch, you got the same thing you had when you started. Nothing, bitch. $85. We really need it. I said, you could sell some dick for more than that, dumbass. You've been around there fucking Veronica for free, you stupid bastard, and you don't have but $85 in the bank? Girl, bye. Now, I knew you was stupid, Betty, but I didn't know you was damn stupid. $85. We need that money. I said, oh, God. I don't know who's worse. You or your mammy, honey. That, just a mess. Can and so she, she said, Betty, I'm not going to take your $85. I said, okay, that bitch, I'm not going to take your $85, Betty. No, she's not. She's ready to put millions of dollars in that account, you dumb son of a bitch. I said, Lord have mercy. I laughed at her so bad. And then, but that $85. All right, Betty, whatever. Lord have mercy. Whew. Okay. 8,500 pennies. Motherfucker. Anyway. Move. <laughs> move it on. Okay. So. <sighs> Betty and Hannah get this, had this little run in. Okay. 
Uh, about Melissa. That motherfucker. It ain't my baby. It ain't my damn problem. She said, it is your problem. You over there fucking that whore. You're going to find her somewhere to stay. And you're going to help her. That's what you're going to do. Ain't nobody told you to stick your dick in her. I said, this is true. <laughs> and I don't know how you're going to bring that baby. <laughs> I this child. I ain't even, she can't even get in the project. Child, get one out of here. Anyway, so as he's going through all these changes, and she made him apologize because um, Melissa walked in on the uh, conversation, and he was being so curt, and she said, you apologize. I ain't apologizing to her. She said, you, hear, you are, and you will, and you're going to help her. So he apologized. I was like, punk. You know, it's a punk. And he ends up dropping, he's going to go with Mitch, drops this, that money out of his pocket. He was like, where the fuck you get that money? Child and Melissa stepped in and said, oh, it was mine. That was all my money that I had. I had him hold it because I didn't want Veronica to take it. So she just saved him from Hannah. I said, oh. Okay, Tyler, we see you. He just opened up the door for Benny to be actually down with Melissa. They're going to be a couple. Just watch. Anyway, so that was that. And he took his ass on out of there. Just ridiculous. He went on out of there. He's going down to try to give the money back. Of course, he walks in on the dead body. And then some guy comes in behind him. And now he got Benny at gunpoint. Talking about he calling the police. How convenient. Whatever. We'll see how that goes and where that goes. Anyway, Catherine. Catherine then told Jim that she going on over there to talk to Wyatt. Jim's like, I don't know why you want to do that. I just don't get it. She's like, it, it can be fixed. He said, it's going to be fixed, Catherine. He killed a damn Malone. They're going to kill him. Shit, it's fixed. It is what it is. That's like, oh, damn. She going to talk to Wyatt. That motherfucking Wyatt talked to Catherine so goddamn bad so I wanted to jump through that television screen and smack the shit out of him. He told her, I wish that cancer had killed you. She said, so where did, how did you know I had cancer? He said, I know things. I know a lot of things. She said, so you knew, and you never even said a word. He gonna say, no, I ain't have nothing to say. The hell with you. Y'all know I'm totally done with, with Wyatt, right? I cannot wait until Mama Malone put a cold or a, a cold knife or a hot motherfucking bullet in your ass. I, I've had enough. You are just too much, Miss Junkie Jane. You're too much, bitch. Too much. Then told Catherine, I'm either going to put you two, you two away or I'm going to kill you, bastard. And told her, I killed somebody. She said, you killed somebody. He said, I did. Now get your ass out of here. I said, oh, you and your boyfriend, Jeffrey. Honey, y'all done got bad. Get your ass out of here before you be next. I said, oh, wait a minute. But see, what you don't know is that Catherine fucked up goddamn, um, what, what do, um, Lynette and them call her uh, Detective Salisbury Steak. <laughs> you don't know your mammy got a body too while you talking all that shit. Your mother killed the lady on purpose, you punk motherfucker. You killed him on accident, you punk bitch. Anyway, but I, I, I think that conversation right there turned something in Catherine. Catherine walked the fuck on out of here, and I think knowing Katie the way we know her. I think she's pretty fucking done with Wyatt. If she was like me, I would be. And God knows I love Dawn, uh, Dawn Trey and Trayvon to death. But mm -mm, that talk right there, that motherfucker. Yeah, I knew you had cancer. I ain't have nothing to say because I didn't give a fuck. Really? Really? Yeah, okay. I love you to, love you to death. But I uh -uh, bet you done pushed it. You done went too far. She walked out of there, and for some reason, I think Catherine's pretty done with Wyatt. But And she should be. She should be. I know I am. Can't wait till he catch one, honey. Anyway, last thing. This is moving along too slow, too. David and Erica, they in the house, and David, it comes, well, first of all, Erica's telling him that he's been banging her cuckoo too much. He, he done, done wore her little coochie out, honey. I said... Y'all already know how I feel about David, Erica. You're playing games anyway. But yeah, she said, it's just too much. Then get out the way then, bitch. Move. Move out the way for a, an opponent that can handle what's going down, bitch. Get your ass out of the way. Anyway, they go through all that. 
Then, for some reason, David decides to go around the house looking for bugs. And she finds like three bugs that Veronica placed in the house. I was like, how convenient. Corny. Okay, Tyler. Pick up the bugs. Then him and Erica start playing with Veronica. She's she's probably listening to us right now. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, baby. Next thing you know, you hear, boom, boom. That bitch is right outside, honey, and they set off two car bombs, honey. Put bombs in both of their cars, honey. The cars is on fire. I said, yeah, she was listening, honey. I said, Lord, that was, but that was kind of corny. I was like, whatever, Tyler. But yeah, it was, a, it was a bad day for Veronica. Bad day for Veronica. Anyway, y'all, I'll catch y'all next week. And I'm going to check down to the bank, honey. I'm going to go on down to the bank and check to see if Benny has, uh, Gained any interest on that $85 by the time I see y'all again. <laughs> Later. <laughs>